Hi, I'm Kevin Pearson with the Press Enterprise at NPE.com here at Hemet High School, where administrators hope that this device is what can help curb drinking at the senior and junior prom on Saturday night. And as a deterrent, it's not to catch anybody doing anything that they shouldn't be doing, but we'll randomly test every 10th, 15th student, depending on how fast we need to move the line, how slow it's going. Um, so it'll truly be random. The alcohol blow device is really, really simple. All a student does is from several inches away goes, <sighs> blows into the device. Green light means there's no alcohol in their system. If the yellow light pops up, there's a low amount. And if a red light pops up, there's a high amount of alcohol in their system. Unlike traditional law enforcement DUI systems, there is no numeric reading. It just simply says if there is alcohol or if there's not. It's also a passive mode. They can wave over the punch bowl on Saturday night to tell if there's any alcohol been added to that. And this could be something that they see as they leave the prom too, correct? Absolutely. Uh, we, we're not naive enough to know that students can't sneak things in. We do our best to, to keep it classy and, and a very appropriate evening. But if students were able to sneak something in or were to locate alcohol on, on the grounds, um, it, again, it would hopefully serve as a deterrent. One of the students who is in support of this is Sean Bree Wojcik, the junior class president who also helps organize the prom. As a student, do you feel that this is a violation of like your civil rights, or do you think that this is a good thing that should be encouraged at more schools? It's a good thing. They're not doing it just to be in control. They're doing it so everyone's safe and so we don't have the issues like we have had in the past. The key thing here is that after a dance in February, where six students at the school showed up drunk and two of them had to be transported to the hospital with alcohol poisoning, the associated student body came to Dr. Emily Shaw, the principal here, and said, you know what, please don't take away our dances because a few students showed up drunk. So the student said, test us. Make sure we're clean before we go into the dance. Students who are found to have alcohol in their breath will face a five-day suspension and be taken away from prom. We also spoke to Neil Rosamond, junior class treasurer for him at high school, who agreed that the fact that this is going to be at prom is a huge deterrent for the decisions students might make. A lot of kids, uh, I don't want to say this, but a lot of kids in our school want to do that kind of thing. And that they have that threat and that, that fear in them that they know that there's a chance they can get in trouble for it. It kind of makes them realize, like, this is the wrong thing. Like, I shouldn't do this. And the fact that they might get tested can put, make it to where they won't do it. The key thing here is Hemet High is the first school that we know of in the inland area that is proactive in its testing at its prom. I think it's great. I think hopefully other schools will follow in our footsteps and maybe do the same thing we do. Uh, there is a sense of pride just to know that we are breaking down on it to make sure it doesn't happen in our, any of our events anymore. And I encourage the other schools in the Valley to start doing this too because it really is a good system to help lower these acts in our school completely random, completely proactive, all in the hopes of avoiding a tragedy and having these students have a safe, fun, and most importantly, sober time at their prom. You know, the students were supportive of it. When we randomly tested at our last dance, we tested good kids, kids that had never ever been in trouble. We had kids coming and saying, hey, you know, test me. It, it didn't seem to be anything that was negative or, or frightening to the students. It, it seemed to be well received. 